What's up, YouTube? This is Mike Kettle Entrepreneur coming back with some more entrepreneurial content. Today, we are going to be talking about investing, and we're going to do that right now. Welcome to my channel. If you are new and you are thinking about starting, managing, or growing your business, or you just want to find ways that you can bring in more income so that you can reach the financial freedom that you're looking for and have that generational wealth, please consider subscribing to my channel. You could do that by hitting that subscribe button, also banging on that notification bell. If you follow my channel, you know that I just recently did a video on the three different types of income. Please check out this video above where I go over the detail on each of those different incomes, but essentially there's earned income, there's investment income, and there's portfolio income. As of right now, as of today, I actually have income coming in through all three of those different income sources. So I do have a job. I also have a business which is going into my investments. So I'm actually making money out of my investments. And then third, I just recently started to invest in a portfolio. So I have around 30 different stocks and I did it individually. I didn't go in and buy an index fund uh, or a read or anything like that. Uh, if you have not read the book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, I'll actually link it down in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so uh, you will not be charged any additional fees or anything for it, but it will help support this channel so I can continue to do this. I love doing this. So it'll help me a lot on this channel, but essentially in Rich Dad Poor Dad, you want to acquire assets that actually bring you income. And that is what this is teaching you. I think eventually if you want to reach the financial freedom that you're looking for, you cannot have 95% or hundred percent of your income coming through the earned income column. You need to actually subsidize that and have it come from your investments and have it come from your portfolio because when you do that then you're actually going to be ultimately freeing up your time you'll have opportunities to make passive income and then you can actually do the things that you want like spend time with your family you know go on trips things like that i apologize you guys can see in the back screen uh my kids are back and forth so it's been a crazy week uh, my kids are home just like many of you so i'm doing this video in my room uh my cat my kids everyone's running around but it's okay can you guys actually take take him out please I'm gonna give you the why, the when, and the how to investing. Why? Why do you wanna invest? I kinda of talked about that right now, but essentially you wanna invest because you're trying to build long-term investments that can actually go into your portfolio uh, so that it can build your assets. You know, you can have money uh, in the future. You know, let's say you're in your portfolio, you own around 60 shares, and over the next 10 years, they appreciate uh, 12 to 15%. That could be a lot of money. That could be money that you could take out as a dividend or you can sell them. You can use them to you know, down payment for a house, all those different things. But at the end of the day, that money is sitting there and it has a potential to make you money, especially if you invest in the right businesses. You don't want to invest money that you are going to miss. You want to make sure that the money that you're investing is money that you can live without. So when should you invest? When is right now. And I think that there's always opportunities for you know, you just start investing. Warren Buffett is by far the, the greatest investor of all time. He's built billions of dollars in wealth off of investing. But essentially, you want to buy when everything is scarce. And that may sound backwards or ass backwards, to be honest with you. But essentially, you want to buy cheap. And when you buy cheap, that means people are afraid, people are scared. The thing about the stock market is it's very fickle. It's very volatile. So uh, some businesses are doing well in one second and, and, and it just goes back and forth. And for the most part, that is based on human emotions. Uh, sometimes it's not based on the actual business itself. It could be something in social media or whatever the case may be. If you're looking at a business and you know that they actually can bounce back and their stocks are low and it's a good buy, then you be a little bit more aggressive at purchasing those stocks because the rule of the game is the more stocks that you own in a business, when they actually start to be more profitable, you make more money. So instead of you making 2% on $2, let's say you make 2% on $1,000 or you make 2% on $300, that's when you really start seeing that money work for you. So the last thing is gonna be how. So down in the description below, I do have an affiliate, they're Weeble, they are amazing. I actually started out doing uh, Charles Schwab and I'll link them down in the description below because, and I just kind of talked about this and so it kind of contradicts what I just said, but essentially uh, Schwab, uh, offers this program where you can buy a slice of a stock. So instead of you buying a full stock, you're buying a slice of that stock, which is okay if you want to feel like you're owning a part of a company. But honestly, if you're really trying to make money or or, or see your your money grow, that's not gonna be the way. But at the end of the day, it is a way for you to dip your toes into the actual stock market where you can buy a slither, literally a slither of a business. Uh, and I'll do a video on how you can purchase your slices through Schwab. Uh, just let me know, drop a comment down below if you're interested in that, because I can definitely do a video on that. But essentially, you can go on a Weeble, 
uh, you uh, apply for the account. Uh, essentially, what you're doing is you're setting up a bank account through Webull as an individual, and then you can go in, you can fund that account, and then you use those funds to purchase stocks. You can go online, you can look at the ticker symbols of the different businesses that you want to invest in. There's also other different types of investments that you can do. So you can do an index fund, mutual funds, there's REITs, so many different things. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, if you have not, talked about it all the time in this video, please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to do this and I'll see you guys in the next video.